Making effective policy often means balancing highly interacting but diverse objectives. Striking the right balance can unlock synergies that promote progress on multiple goals. Failing to do so can restrict progress and see momentum lost. The 2030 Agenda and the Sustainable Development Goals is designed as an integrated and indivisible framework. Since progress on one target can affect other SDGs positively or negatively, the goals and targets cannot be treated as isolated entities, but their interactions must inform implementation strategies. The international policy community have recognised this need for systemic approaches to SDG implementation. SEI has responded to this challenge by developing the SDG Synergies tool. It helps to record, visualise and analyse how multiple targets interact as a system in a given context. SDG Synergies is a practical tool for understanding how goals and targets interact using systems thinking. SDG Synergies was originally designed to support governments in implementing the 2030 Agenda. It can also be customised to include other agendas or policy areas. The tool facilitates a structured participatory process in which stakeholders discuss and assess how the goals interact in the given context. Their assessments are entered into a cross-impact matrix which forms the basis for subsequent analysis. In the tool, there are multiple options to analyse and view the system, including from the perspective of a selected goal. The options are developed in particular to inform prioritisation of goals to maximise progress on the agenda as a whole. There are options that can guide cross-sectoral collaboration. Network analysis techniques are embedded in the tool to provide these insights. The tool can be accessed through either an administrator or user interface. To create a new project, you must log in as an administrator at https colon forward slash forward slash tool dot sdg synergies dot org forward slash admin forward slash login. To create a project, the administrator clicks on the create button in the project section and fills in the form. The name and the start date are mandatory fields, while the others are optional. Once the project is created, it appears in the project list. The next step is to link the goals and or targets that will be part of the analysis to the project. All the SDGs and their respective targets are available in the tool but additional policy agendas and related goals can be added in the Goals and Agendas section. To add targets to your project, click on the Edit button, blue pencil, of the project. Click on the Related Goals button. Select the preferred agenda from the Select an Agenda drop-down menu. Choose Goals in the Select Goals section. Once you click on the Add to Event button, your goals will show up in the list on the screen's right. The cross-impact matrix is now created, but empty. For project participants to enter data into it, you will need to provide them with access tokens. They can be arranged as groups or for individual use. For participants to log into the tool, they use their tokens and access via a designated link provided by the administrator. Once logged into the tool, the tool guides participants to assign a score to the interactions which their token provides access to. Once logged into the tool, the tool guides participants to assign a score to the interactions which their token provides access to. The scoring process is often done in a workshop setting supported by a facilitator. Additional information about the scoring process can be found in the manual. After all scores are entered, the tool automatically aggregates and displays them using the seven-point scale. To view the results, log in as administrator and click on Analysis. Select your event from the drop-down menu. 
You now have a range of options to analyze the data. Clicking on the matrix button will reveal the full matrix. The overall impact that one goal slash target has on every other goal slash target is shown by the row sum. The column sum, on the other hand, shows the influence on a goal slash target by all other goals slash targets. The satellite view reveals graphs that allow you to inspect the links to and from a specific goal slash target. Use the settings to select the interacting target. Change the direction of the interactions and toggle the order of the influenced goals slash targets. You can also choose to display second order interaction values, which better represent the systemic impact of one target in the system. For more details, see the manual. The network view displays the complete network of all the interacting goals slash targets. It can also show clusters that are sub-networks of highly positively connected goals slash targets. In this view, goals slash targets are represented by circles and the color of the links shows the intensity of the interaction with blue colours showing positive links and red the negative links. Finally, the scoring data view shows a table with data for every interaction. This provides more detailed information about the data on which the analysis is based. This information can be downloaded in various formats for further analysis. The SDG Synergies tool is interactive and easy to use. Its intuitive analysis and visualizations facilitate dialogue and learning between participants and provide an overview of how policy objectives, such as the SDGs, interact as a system. The tool can be used for global, national or sub-national studies, supporting policy-making processes at any level. For more information, please visit www sdgsynergies.org or www.sei.org and download the guiding manual.